Thank you, Joss. Well, controversy has erupted over Hawaii's largest mainland online provider of public school. Some parents call the content sexist and racist. Meanwhile, the founder says a small handful of nearly one million video lessons have been flagged and removed. Gene Manjiri is always investigating and has more. Dueling petitions ask the Department of Education to either cut or to keep a cellus. Decisions are being made by principals who are either for or against the online platform. And the founder of Acellus tells me that out of his nearly 3 million students using Acellus nationwide, he's never had the volume of complaints that he's had from Hawaii alone in recent weeks. The Hawaii Department of Education gave students two options for this school year. Stick with their campus, which for now is mostly online or hybrid, or enroll in 100% distance learning for the entire school year. For most of the distance learning students, that means school is online with a Cellus Learning Accelerator. The company's founder tells me they've got 3 million students nationwide, but Hawaii has been its biggest recent single growth area, with about 80,000 students participating. Subtract several hundred from that number since Alia Manu Elementary told parents Sunday it was pulling the plug, canceling all student accounts for what the principal called inappropriate and racist content. The Acellus founder said this. It's not perfect. We have problems that we need to fix identified every day and we take care of them quickly. Acellus told Aliamanu it took out a clip where a character, Sweetie Lips, is asked about the origin of her name. Another clip where a character says he's been running from the police. And the whole reading of a series of books about a bear learning to care. Acellus is also looking into whether to change references about Barack Obama from being the first black president to the first African American. Recently, the company removed a clip of an old video of Walt Disney introducing Grumpy the Snow White Dwarf as a woman hater. Everything they've accused us of having in a cellus that's bad are things that we removed because they seem to be offensive to someone. A change.org petition was launched a few days ago calling on the Hawaii DOE to cut ties with Acellus. It adds more clips that parents take issue with, like a recent phonics lesson where G stood for gun. More than a thousand people had signed that as of late Monday. The company's own petition to support ongoing use in the islands had around the same number of signatures. Schools that are sticking with Acellus, like Keala Kehe, told its parents that claims against the company have not been substantiated that its separate academy product is accredited, and that Acellus has been accessed in one way or another by Hawaii schools for about 10 years. I asked for the dollars involved. The DOE told me they spent a couple hundred thousand dollars on summer programs with Acellus, but that they don't have a tally for the school year because schools are buying it directly. Earlier this summer, the DOE anticipated at least 15% of Hawaii's 180,000 students would be covered by digital only with Acellus. Acellus told me it has 190 Hawaii public schools and 80,000 participants, 44% of Hawaii students. They told me that Aliamanu's cost alone was about $22,000 for around 600 children, 200 regularly attending. They're refunding that, but the statewide fees could be worth nearly $3 million based on Acellus's numbers. Now, if there's something better, that's fine with me. This is a not-for-profit organization. It was never about making money. The DOE tells me they did not conduct a competitive procurement for online services, calling education materials exempt. And they say schools can also use Edgenuity and Edmentum for distance learning. They're also spending about $700,000 for online curriculum with Blackboard. They get to use Google Classroom at no extra cost to its base G Suite license, and they're still tallying what Canvas might cost if they get a grant for it. That's an Arizona State University digital curriculum. The DOE told Always Investigating programs used for distance learning continue to be managed and approved at the school level, not mandated across the state, and that the department did not receive any complaints about Acellus until a recent social media campaign, but that they're working to identify any questionable content and will work directly with the vendor to address anything deemed inappropriate. Gina Mangieri, KHON2 News, Always Investigating.